Hey guys, welcome to today's video and thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you all are doing well and you all are trying to stay safe. I'm trying my best. I am not going out and even if I go out, I make sure to wear gloves and masks, etc, etc, etc. So I pray for you. You are all in my prayers. Just remember that. Talking about today's video, in today's video I'm going to share with you my review of this brand new Lorac Pro Soft Focus Longwear Foundation right here. It is a brand new foundation from Lorac and I don't think so many people are talking about this product and recently I was watching a video of Tati, she was literally raving about this foundation and I instantly thought of getting it and I have been using it for more than uh, two weeks now and I am fully ready to give you my full in-depth review of this foundation. I have tried this foundation with so many primers, so many powders, so many setting sprays. So I am 100% ready to give you my opinion on this particular foundation. If you have been following me for a while, you must know how I review my foundations. First I talk about the packaging, then the shade range, then the claims. Then I will share with you a demo uh, where I was applying the foundation. Also I will do a check-in and then I will give you my final thoughts. So yeah, let's just talk about the price and shade range and claims and everything. It retails for $38 and there are actually 25 shades of this particular foundation which is I think okay, it's not that good, it's not that bad either. So let's just talk about the claims of this foundation. Um, it says so there is a like cheat or this kind of a writing thing that came with this foundation so here it says um, Lorac soft matte soft focus long wear foundation is a long wearing soft wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage so remember that it's some it, it claims to be a medium to full coverage foundation refreshing feel with soft focus finish long wear performance with a silk like texture we all want that we all want that soft like filtered look on our uh, face right and it claims to give us that we will see that lightweight feel with buildable coverage okay spherical powders deliver excellent sleep and keep skin shine free water resistant uh, suitable for all skin type dermatologist tested so it claims to be a shine free foundation but it does not claim to be a fully matte foundation keep that in mind and it also says to be um, a water resistant formula and it is suitable for all skin type i have normally i have dry skin but since it's summer my skin is like normal to sometimes my my t-zone feels a little bit oily it's most of the day it's normal so i have currently i have normal skin okay let's talk about the packaging by the way i am in the shade 10 medium in case you are my skin tone in case we are shade sisters or brothers i am in the shade 10 medium and i am in the shade nc35 in max studio fix foundation so if you have used that particular foundation then we have similar shades nc35 so let's just talk about the packaging it comes with a matte cardboard package like this it's totally matte and lorac and everything is written here and the shelf life of this foundation is 12 months so you need to finish it up within 12 months of opening up the packaging so when you open it up here is the packaging Look, it's, it's quite like a concealer because it is so sleek, so like compact packaging. The packaging is pretty impressive. It is really great for traveling because it does not take a lot of space. So it's a very nice, convenient and tra travel friendly packaging and it's a matte plastic bottle. You, here you can see the shade. It's plastic. Okay. And when you open it up, you are getting a pump, which is good. Because I do not want to spend $38 on a foundation that does not come with a pump like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I love the foundation but I just do not like the packaging. But with this foundation, the packaging is really user friendly, really travel friendly. I give it 10 out of 10 just because of the packaging. Now let's just talk about the consistency. The consistency is pretty liquidy. If you have uh, used the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, the consistency is 
pretty much close to this one. When I was using this foundation for the first time, it reminded me straight of the NYX Total Control Draw Foundation. So if you like that foundation, you are definitely going to like it because of the consistency the consistency is pretty similar and when i was first using it i was constantly thinking of the nyx foundation i do not know if they are really dupe or not i have to test them out more to see if they are a dupe or not so there is one thing i want to quickly touch up here if you are planning to get this foundation grab one shade lighter because this does oxidize and it does oxidize almost immediately not like my maybelline superstay powder powder foundation no the maybelline super stay full coverage foundation that foundation takes about five minutes or so but it oxidizes almost immediately so i recommend you getting to the store and swatch them then pick up your shade that is like a drawback of this foundation so i kind of um gazed my shade and ordered the shade 10 medium i actually wanted to get the shade 11 but then i just changed my mind and uh, and ordered the shade 10 medium and i am i'm glad that i ordered the shade 10 medium because at first when i apply it it is completely like lighter and then after some time it adapts to my own skin tone and it becomes a perfect match so this shade this particular shade is a perfect match for me now let's just quickly jump into the application and we are time and i will I will share with you my thoughts. So here I am taking my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer and I am just priming my face. This is a very liquidy foundation and you need a pore filling primer underneath it otherwise it may accentuate your pores. So you, you should always use a pore filling primer especially if you have really 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 large pores and you can see this is the consistency of this foundation it is pretty liquidy now on one side i'm just applying the foundation with my brush and on the other side i will be applying it with my sponge so i'm just first dotting it and i have taken half a pump of foundation and now i'm just uh, blending it out using my real techniques beauty sponge this is a damp beauty sponge and you can see it is blending out beautifully and it is so pigmented and the since the texture is very liquidy it's spreading beautifully and it may look a bit lighter right now but trust me it does oxidize oxidize and it will adapt to my own skin tone and it is blending beautifully it's giving me kind of a satin matte finish and the coverage is insane it is pretty much full coverage and you can totally see here is the close up and it has oxidized already can you see on one side i have the foundation on and on the other side i haven't applied any foundation and it's both sides looking pretty same the shades are looking pretty similar isn't it and look at the coverage it says it's medium to buildable full coverage but on my skin personally it is a full coverage foundation and it's looking very very smooth can you see it's looking very very smooth now on the other side i'm applying the foundation with my brush this is a kabuki brush and again with brush again it's it's spreading beautifully it is blending beautifully and i haven't got any bristle marks which is really good because with liquidy foundations often we tend to get bristle marks but i haven't got any bristle marks and it's it's blending beautifully of course with brush i got more coverage and with brush i needed a little less product it's obvious and now i'm just applying the uh, foundation as my concealer just to see how much it covers and you can see it has covered up my dark circles pretty nicely and i haven't even applied any color corrector underneath and this is how everything is looking so far and i am very very impressed with this foundation it's looking flawless and i don't know if the camera is picking it up or not it has given me a very nice airbrushed filtered like uh, skin and i'm just setting the foundation with a little bit of um, translucent powder because no matter what foundation i use if i do not set it does not look good and it does not last though i have really dry skin and here is my complete makeup and here is the close-up you can see how how everything is looking my bronzer my blush my highlighter everything is literally popping and i haven't uh, used any concealer in this makeup look and it's still looking flawless though i i have tried this uh, foundation with my concealers and it layers up pretty nicely and here is the check-in part 
and i think i use this foundation for like 12 hours on that day and how, this is how it's looking and uh, after some time it's uh, it's set to be a nice satin matte finish and it was completely transfer proof and it hasn't even settled on my smile lines which is absolutely insane though my forehead was looking a bit shiny because it was really hot and humid uh, that day and i also went for grocery shopping i was wearing a mask so you can you can see how much like hot and humid it was wearing a mask since i was out for grocery shopping and still it was looking flawless and i was impressed with the quality of this foundation now i'm just blotting it uh, just to get rid of all the excess oil and just to uh, show you how much it transfers just see it hasn't even transferred after 12 hours zero transfer you saw in the demo how it works how it works throughout the day right now let's just quickly talk about the pros and cons about this foundation pro number one the packaging is really sleek and travel friendly and it comes with a pump so it's a huge pro for me pro number two it is a non-comedogenic formula it is vegan now pro number three it is vegan and cruelty free pro number three it is oil free so if you have like a really really oily skin you can still use this foundation because it is oil free pro number three it is for me at least full coverage pro number four uh, there are a lot of cars going on so please do excuse the car sounds so yeah what i was talking pro number four is it is very 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 long lasting you saw in the demo after 12 hours it was looking as if I just applied the foundation. It was that good. So this is going to be my go-to foundation, especially on the days when I am planning to be at foundation for a long time. After the lockdown, of course, if I go somewhere, it is definitely going to be my go-to foundation. And pro number five, I always mess up the numbers. Five or six. Maybe it's six, right? I don't know. So the next pro is it does not settle on my smile lines. It does not break apart or from my T-zone. It does not emphasize any texture on my face. It does not settle on my pores. So those are, I mean, those are the things that I want from a foundation and I get everything from this foundation. And I think they are absolutely correct about the claim that it is going to be a foundation for all skin type because currently my skin type is as i mentioned normal and sometimes my t-zone becomes oily and it does not break apart and there are some days of course dry skin type so there are some days when my skin feels a little bit dry and it does not settle on my dry patches it does not make my skin feel even drier if that makes sense so they are absolutely correct about it it is meant for all skin type so when you apply the foundation for the first time it gives you a satin matte kind of a finish but after like half an hour or so it becomes completely matte and completely transfer proof and i'm wearing this foundation today so let's just test it so here is my cell phone and let's just test if it is transfer proof or not see there is absolutely zero transfer with the foundation which is a great thing i was so shocked when i used this foundation it, it did not transfer to anything so it is a transfer proof foundation and i completely agree with the claim and it also gives me a very nice soft focused look on my skin i don't know how it does it as if i have a, i have used some kind of filter on my skin it gives me that nice ear brushed smooth effect on my skin which i absolutely love sometimes when i use a finishing powder it gives me that soft focused look and this lorette foundation does the exact same job so it's true that it is a soft focused foundation and it also really good for photography it does not give me any flashback whatsoever so it is really good for photography as well i'm wearing this foundation today on my face and can you see how flawless it's looking i just cannot stop looking at the mirror how flawless it's looking can you see that those cars ignore that please 
so yeah it's looking really really beautiful really really skin like it is very very lightweight and it, it is so lightweight you cannot even feel that you are wearing a foundation it is that light lightweight so i don't know how they have done it it's full coverage still it is very very lightweight that is a huge plus point about this foundation and yeah those are the pros now let's talk about the cons there is only one con about this foundation that is it does oxidize and almost immediately it does oxidize so if you can pass that that one con if you can pass that then definitely go and grab this foundation for the price i think it's worth it it's worth every cent i love this foundation that much so there is one thing i want to quickly mention if you have really really large pores i do not have really large pores i have some pores here on my cheeks some teeny mini pores but if you have really large pores then i highly recommend you to use a pore filling primer other than that it is a liquidy foundation so it may uh, settle onto your pores so you need to use a pore filling primer underneath this foundation i rate this foundation 9 out of 10 i am deducting one point just because of that oxidizing situation i know there are so many people who do not like that but i can pass that especially i have got my perfect shade so i can totally pass that so for me it's a great buy i am in love with this foundation and i think i am going to use it a lot during this summer because there were days when i was really sweating and it it just did not come off my face i was sweating and it was still there so it is a water resistant foundation i can totally say that so it is going to be my go to foundation i highly highly recommend so yeah that's it for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and i hope this video was helpful for you and if you have tried this foundation let me know if it works for you if it doesn't work for you just let me know i'll be more than happy to hear it from you all and if you like this look right here this this uh, bumblebee honeybee yellow makeup tutorial is coming up pretty soon on my channel and for that you have to subscribe to my channel so what are you waiting for please do subscribe press that red subscribe button over here and also press the bell icon next to it here or here i don't know just just press it and also press the bell icon next to it to get notification whenever i upload a new video and it is absolutely free so please do subscribe and if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar down below. So please go ahead and check that out. So yes, see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.